Hey, hey family, it's your girl Evelyn here and I'm back with another video in the self-care series. I really hope you are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying sharing it with you. I'm really, really passionate about self-care. So I know we've talked about um, the difference between self-care and self-maintenance. I know we've talked about rest, relaxation, and retreating. And so today I want to talk to you about something that may seem a little odd uh, by the title, but it's about the importance of a personal editorial calendar. And so this is one of the things that I teach my clients um, when I'm helping them achieve goals and also being strategic about their self-care, which is you have to have a personal editorial calendar. And let me tell you what I base that off of because I came up with it um, or at least I think I came up with the name. At least I think I did. Okay, maybe somebody has said it before, but I haven't seen it. Okay. And basically, it's based off the theory that um, there was a video floating around for years that talked about, you know, if you take a jar and you put your big rocks in first and then you put your pebbles in and then you put sand in and then you put water in, you can get more in to the jar or the container, right? But if you did it the other way around, you were you weren't going to be able to fit everything in. And so one of the things that I realized um, that is absolutely necessary when it comes to self-care, strategic self-care, whether and it's particularly if you're running a business, if you're a mother, a wife, just you're just a woman, really, really important is that we need to put the things that are important to us on the calendar first. I always tell my clients, you build your business around your life, not the other way around. I actually was working for a company and uh, one time, and I remember I was really trying to plan out, you know, like my life. And then, you know, I had a, a what I thought was a flexible work schedule. And so I was flexing, you know, my work schedule, you know, accommodating the business needs around some things that I wanted to do and needed to do, right? Still meeting all the requirements. And I remember my boss at the time said, you cannot plan your life first. You have to put the job first and then plan your life around the job. And I remember thinking, you've got to be kidding me, right? Like, it, like you, you, <laughs> you can't be serious. I remember I laughed in his face because I was like, um, in what world does that work? And so one of the things that I realized that I was doing earlier in my business is that I was putting work first, even in my own business. And then I was putting my life around it versus the other way around. And so what I do is I create a personal editorial calendar, which is I need to put in all the things that are really, really important to me all the way down to my self-care and self-maintenance on my calendar first. And then everything else can go on top of that and, and flex and bend and bow around that. Right. And so you have to decide what those things are for you. And it's not just my self maintenance and my self care routine, but it's also like just things that I want to do that year, that week, that month, right? That I need everything else to flex around to make sure that I'm operating and remember at that high level that I want to operate at. So I move my benchmark from operating at a level of you know, just a little bit exhausted, just a little bit anxious, just a little bit tired, just a little bit overworked to know I want to be really well rested. I want to be confident and supported and I want to be I want to be fully on. Right. So if I'm going to be on, I want to be fully on when all possible. And these are the things that it takes for me, Evelyn, to be that way. That is going to vary from woman to woman. And so one of the things that I talk to my clients about is what is that for them? I had a client once and um, I actually had two clients. This is so interesting that were fantastic painters. And one of them hadn't painted since she was younger. And then one of them hadn't probably painted in 15 years. And they both really enjoyed it and it was therapeutic for them. And they were wondering why they were stressed out and, you know, not feeling creative in their businesses. And it was like, this is something that's really important to your mental well-being, for your emotional well-being, for you to feel like you. This is part of who you are and you're suppressing this, right? And there's a multitude of other things that go into a personal editorial calendar. But I encouraged both of them to build time in 
for those types of things, right? And you may be surprised if you haven't been having a healthy level of self-care or self-maintenance, you may be surprised how much you need to put on the calendar um, initially just to kind of get back to you. I would tell you when I started doing this, I had to make some significant life changes. So it wasn't because a lot of people say, well, my job and this or whatever, or this commitment or that commitment, you know, and I'm not talking about things like, you know, being a mother or being married and all that kind of stuff. But you do need to build your personal editorial calendar around uh, with that in mind, too. But I had to make different. I had to get on a path to make a different career choice to be able to put the things in place. I wasn't willing to sacrifice what I needed to function at a healthy level for that career choice, right? And so I didn't, you know, just be like, I'm out. I had, but I had to, over time, adjust my lifestyle, adjust my career path, adjust my business to be able to accommodate what it takes for Evelyn to feel like her full self, okay? So anyway, um, I want to encourage you to do that and uh, you know I walk my clients through you know a little bit more of a lengthy process but uh, I wanted to encourage you to do that that you need a personal editorial calendar you may have an editorial calendar for your business that kind of plans out you know all the things that's going to be happening through the year you need to do one for you first and so I'm really really excited about that and I hope you have been enjoying this series and I will see you in the next video peace